Joining us now, Amy Kassar, or Ami Kassar, I should say. Sorry about that. Ami, welcome in. Good morning. Happy to be with you. Absolutely. A business strategist, also the CEO and founder of Multifunding. What a crazy year, Ami, it has been for everybody with uh, COVID, uh, lockdowns. We've got hurricanes at record numbers, dealing with storms this morning here in the Southeast. And everybody seems to use the word the new normal, the new normal. Um, you know, I, maybe we're not embracing this the way, you know, we do when change happens all the time in our lives. And, you know, we're trying to think of this as, oh, my gosh, I can't wait to get through this and get back to the way it was. So maybe we're not getting back to the way it was. Yeah, I don't think that, you know, every business is a little bit different, but it, Things have changed, I think, forever. And what I encourage people to do is you just have to accept the, the new and accept the uncertainty. And you have to deal with what we have to do, what we have today, and work with it. So those people who are longing for and saying this will pass and everything will go back to normal, I don't agree with that. Things have mm -hmm. shifted fundamentally. And... Uh, I mean, I look at my life, I used to travel all the time for business, and I've now learned how to do my work over Zoom. And so I'm wondering, even if when everything's clear, travel again, am I going to want to do that? Is that the most productive use of my time? That's a little microcosm, but some things have fundamentally changed forever, and you need to embrace it, accept it. And if you cry over the spilled milk or cry over the past, I think you're going to get stuck. Yeah, you're right. I mean, we've seen change in our lives before. You remember the days when you'd get on an airplane and rows 1 through 22, no smoking, but row 23 through 30, you can light them up. And it's like, are you kidding me? What, what, what's the difference? You don't think yeah. I smell that smoke? So that's gone. You know, cell phones, obviously, the Internet, social media, disaster city has become monster parts of our lives. So... Yeah, we, we go through these changes all the time, but this one seems to be striking everybody a bit differently. Is it because it is a virus and it hits so quick and hard and wasn't as gradual as some of those other changes? And what are your suggestions for people that are you know, kind of still struggling with the anxiety of all the change? You have to just breathe through it and you have to leave and you have to accept the reality and plan around it. What can you do today? What are you know, how can you, let's just assume today is going to be for a long time, that whatever the situation today is going to happen for the next year, you have yeah. to make a plan for that. And you can't um, just, if you're just wallowing and, and counting on everything to go back to what it was, unfortunately, you might find yourself at a big deeper hole than you're in now. So take the time and say, this is what's going to happen. This is how we can make money. This is how we can run a profitable business. This is how I can take care of my family and my employees and my customers. This is what we're good at. And maybe that means you have to pivot or maybe that means, you know, you, you have whatever it is, but deal with what's on the grounds today. You know, some people say they're waiting for the next stimulus or this change or that change or that. And, you also have to, you can only deal with what's in your control. Yeah, good points. Ami Kassar, thank you so much. Business strategy.